guys, I'm Catherine and welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here, I'm so happy to have you. Today's video is a clean and organize with me. I'm going to be reorganizing the snack cabinet in my kitchen, but first I'm taking you along with me as I clean my kitchen to get it ready to organize that cabinet. I have some great tips to share with you for cleaning and organizing your kitchen and your cabinets, so be sure to stay until the end of this video so you do not miss any of them. If you love cleaning and organizing as much as I do, I would love it if you would consider subscribing to my channel, so hit that red subscribe button down below. Baking soda is like your kitchen cleaning best friend. You can use it for everything. It makes quick work of the sink and I added a little bit of dish soap on top of this as well and just giving it a really good scrub down and it polishes it right up. Coming up next, I have a cool tip on how to clean your microwave very easily. All right, so you just take a lemon and cut it in half and you squeeze the juice into a bowl of water, like half a cup to a cup of water. I think I might've added too much this time. You can leave the peels in and everything like I did. You put it in the microwave for three minutes, three to five minutes. You, roast, you just want it boiling and steaming and the steam is going to loosen up all of the gunk in your microwave and the lemon helps loosen it as well and it also smells amazing. So if you cooked anything funky or strong smelling in your microwave recently, it will also give a very good smell to your microwave. I'm just going to let that steam in the microwave as I clean everywhere else and come back to it when it's done. I won't make it Pull it out with an oven mitt as it is very, very hot, and then just take a dry cloth. I used a microfiber cloth this time and wipe it all out. It really is that simple. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you are going to organize in your kitchen next. I love connecting with you and I respond to all of my comments, so leave one down below. I can't wait to talk to you. When you're cleaning your electronics, always spray your cloth first. Do not spray directly on your screen. You need to protect it, so always spray your cloth first and then wipe it clean. let the lemon slices cool down a little bit and I'm coming back to them now to chop them up. They're very soft and I'm going to put them in the garbage disposal and this will help freshen up the garbage disposal as well. So be sure to save your lemon after you use it for your microwave. Let it cool because it's very hot. Cut it up and just put it in your garbage disposal. So excited to show you the process of how I reorganize the snack cabinet. So here it is, the before. I'm just going to take everything out and put it on the counter. So this has our snacks and everything, but it also has like our bulk coffee. Oh, sparklers. Yeah, if you don't have sparklers in your snack cabinet, I mean, are you even living? <laughs> So I'm pulling everything down. This has my essential oils for like our diffuser, a bunch of random things. Some of our wedding cocktail napkins are even in a box up there. So I'm just organizing everything that can be thrown away. I'm gonna do a quick vacuum and wipe out the cabinets as well. They were very dusty. I 
got these bins at Target. They were $4 each, so I only spent $24 on this whole reorganization of the cabinet. You'll see as I'm organizing that I keep putting things in different places and I rearrange it as I'm going. It is never right the first time, so just keep that in mind when you're organizing your spaces. Constantly keep trying different ways, and usually it doesn't fit right the first time. I'm starting to put the bins back on the snack side of the cabinet and I'm going to organize everything on the right side of the cabinet which is like our extra coffee, I have some little containers, vitamins, essential oils, herbs, everything just needed a nicer home on this side. It was a lot of little bottles so these bins worked great for that and now I can just pull the whole thing down and have access to everything that I may need. Don't forget to take your snack break. I did keep forgetting to put the blank sign right here forward. I always kept the, I think it says room essentials from Target on it. I will link it down below if I can find the link for you guys so you can find these containers as well. Okay, so here's when I decided that I did not want those bags in the bin. It was just too crowded, so I'm going to put them into the glass jars instead. This is just chia seeds, cocoa powder, coconut flakes, maca powder. It's the most commonly used ingredients in smoothies, so I can just take them down when I need them. I'm gonna label the top of each one. I finally got a label maker and it makes me so happy. I'm labeling the top of each one and I actually took the expiration date of the chia seeds. I don't go through those as quickly. So the expiration date is just going to be on the bottom of the chia seeds so that I know when they expire since I was throwing away the bag. The rest of the ingredients we will go through really fast so I don't need to keep the expiration date on the bottom of those. I know I will use it before they expire. I decided I didn't like them in the bin so I'm going to leave the jars loose. I'm going to do a quick clean underneath just to get any of the extra crumbs that came out while I was organizing everything. I'm going to finish cleaning out the kitchen. I'm just going to put all the things back that go on the counter right here. I do a quick vacuum and then I will reveal what the cabinet looks like before and after. I'm so excited to show you guys. This was a very simple, budget-friendly cabinet organization video for you and I hope that you got some good ideas from it and I'm excited to show you the reveal. If you remember what it looked like before. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you like this video and I'll see you again next time. Bye.